So what's going to happen is if you're listening on Google Play, iTunes, Stitcher, if the year is 2022 and you've gone back in the archives to listen to the very first episode of The Drop Shot, I am here from the past to say welcome and you've made an excellent decision tuning in to this inaugural episode, this premiere of a weekly Call of Duty podcast, which we've deemed The Drop Shot, patent pending. We are live! Welcome to The Drop Shot. I am Casey, a.k.a. Rasanon. I'm here with my good friend, Tanner. Say hello to everyone, Tanner. What up, everybody? Hello. And Tanner joining us now for the first time with his webcam set up. So if you happen to be listening to this on iTunes, Stitcher, Google Play, Spotify, etc., first of all, I want to say thank you. Second of all, I want to say rate the fucking podcast. And third of all, I want to say you're missing out on mine and Tanner's beautiful faces. Tanner has a new microphone from Blue Yeti, courtesy of The Drop Shot Incorporated, also known as My Closet. We're just improving his production quality incrementally for you guys. I hope you guys liked that little intro jingle we have here so i got some music that sounded jingly it has a juicy little bass line at the beginning and then i just threw in some voice lines read a book tweet it to tanner at t-a-n-n-e-r-r-r-r-5-4 tanner do you have any announcements i do have a large a large sized announcement tanner has his first ever announcement this is unheard of unprecedented tanner the floor is yours i've decided to take my talents to twitch.tv slash Tanner Dropshot. After much consideration, some of Razanon, the, the Dropshot viewers, Razanon, they've talked me into it. I've made a Twitch account. I've set it up. I've done a couple test streams. It's happening. Twitch.tv slash Tanner Dropshot. Today, we are doing something a little new. One member of our small but vibrant and extremely humble community has suggested that we do like a Q&A type of stream stream so we got some questions from discord and we've got some alcohol in our systems i got a sign look at this dude tanner's been streaming and it's been going quite well wouldn't you say tanner i'm probably gonna hit affiliate tonight ideally if my computer if my computer does not explode melt down or cause a house fire within the next hour then i will get affiliate tonight when i stream after this episode which is fantastic okay, so my last stream was fucking lit we won the gunfight tournament us three little 3v3 gunfight tournament win uh damascus called me out and said he wanted a juggernaut so what did i do i got a fucking juggernaut and destroyed the other team played for a little while longer ended up dropping my first live nuke as i've said numerous times Raznon it was about four drinks in so he was talking the entire fucking gameplay i don't know how i even went positive based on how much he was talking there are three founders badges sub badges left they're gonna sell for eight thousand dollars one day sub badges are in progress i'm getting some made they should be ready by friday so don't you fret subscribers you have a nice little treat coming your way in a form of a little sub fucking badge last announcement i have is yes i have a mustache some people call me joe exotic some call me joe dirt the only way to see the mustache live is by coming to twitch.tv slash tanner drop shot it was his first stream as an affiliate it was our first dual cam stream which we're going to be doing henceforth every time one of us is going to be doing gameplay if the other one's online we'll be doing the dual cam emos and a logo will be coming the next week or two one of my ideas to tanner which he didn't love was a glass with ice in it and then the little icons that denote sound as if it's like a glass with ice clinking since everyone has to hear that on the pod it's going to be called Tanner Clink. Let's just get to the episode. Hey, suck my cock. The Vaping Viking. Thank you for the follow, for the sub, for the 10 million bits, and for the fucking 30 gifted subs. I'm incredibly honored and privileged, privileged and drunk. Maybe we can quit our job sooner than we thought, dude. We're trying to stream pod full time. That was the most insane stream we've ever had by far. By far. This was our first time where we got recognized in game. Someone in game said, Tanner Dropshot, I love the podcast, my guy. Now, am I pissed it wasn't me that got recognized? (laughs) Yes. The 1st of July, we will be launching a Patreon. If the Patreon wildly exceeds our expectations, we might be able to quit our bullshit nine to five jobs and do this full time. 
I was referring to our first patron, Jake, at the end of last pod, and I had assumed it was one Jake, but it was in fact another Jake. And the correct Jake got in contact with me, and he said, I've refunded my Patreon subscription. I'm never going to watch this podcast again. So Jake, the real Jake, the real Damascus patron Jake, aka Sal Manila, I apologize. I wanted to get that out of the way. Thank you for bringing it to my attention because the other Jake didn't. He was happy to take credit. Salmonella, thank you. Get scammed. I want to continue using this template for every Call of Duty game going forward in the future. And what we're going to be doing three times per year, starting now, is a state of the game address. And I think it'll be cool for us, like next year, to look back and be like, what was the game like three months in? Our first Patreon episode is live as fuck. So we had this appointment scheduled. The guy gets here. He comes in my room where my modem is. And then he like looks at my room and he's like, oh, you play? Yeah. Oh, what do you play? I say, oh, mostly Call of Duty. And he goes, oh, damn. I got banned recently. And I, I kind of smile and I'm like, were you hacking? And then he's tinkering. He does this. Watch, ready? Watch, ready? He's tinkering. He doesn't move his head, but he moves his eyeballs up and he goes, yeah. And I start <laughs> fucking dying, dude. From the time he started hacking to when he got banned, it took three weeks, way too long, on like a Jumbotron in the center of the stadium. There is a very big, uh, I don't know, I don't know what it would be, structure. That's on the ground, probably three feet on the ground. So it's screens all around. I'll, I'll uh, address this controversy that some people thought that it went without explanation what a jumbotron is. Now, some people are upset or a find lot of it. People are upset. Some very a very small percentage of the listener base is very upset. <laughs> a lot of the listeners are upset and, and amused that uh, I had to explain, or I thought I had to explain, what a jumbotron is. If you join the fucking Discord, you can see people leveling these concerns at me and making sure to tag me every time. I stand by my explanation of a jumbotron. I'll take all the flack. I'll get made fun of. I'll get tagged in the Discord and made to look like an ass while you quietly sit in the corner and thank me <laughs> before you go to sleep at night that you now know what a Jumbotron is. Tanner, go get your bag of Totino's pizza roll from your freezer. Next Be right to the back, boys. chopped up bodies. He actually has it. Like last year, there were a bunch of Totino's pizza rolls that were sold with like codes for double weapon XP for this shit game. Tanner bought all of them at his local Walmart where he typically shops. That's wrong. I don't shop at Walmart ever. <laughs> I Fucking got the idiot. pizza rolls, guys. Anyways, uh, he actually has the pizza rolls. Show them on the camera, dude. Show them on the camera. <laughs> That is so funny, dude. <laughs> I want to start off by saying, uh, you know, episode 50. It's crazy. Did you expect us to make up to 50 episodes, Tanner? I wasn't sure we would make 10. We probably wouldn't have made 50 episodes if no one gave a shit. So if you're listening to this, if you give enough of a shit to listen to the Drop Shot of Call of Duty podcast, then thank you. And this episode is brought to you by you. His water bottle with way too many stickers on it. It's jealous. I buy them wherever I travel. So I'll keep, keep that, that in mind. mind. Yeah. For those of you who are watching, uh, you may notice... I mean, just a massive boost in quality. I got a new camera. Tanner got a new camera. We got a new overlay. This overlay was designed by our very own Call Me Al 17. Thank you, Al. It means a lot. I just bust this thing out and just start fucking jabbing kids. Like I'm Jesus. John, like I'm in John Striker Meyer. In game, of course. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Tanner, on the Drop Shot of Call of Duty podcast, we eat ass. Is that correct? <laughs> Yeah. The map we know now is Verdansk, Call of Duty Modern Warfare, right? As soon as you go under the subway, it's actually a portal to the 1980s. And this is the seamless transition that they've been talking about. Oh my God, what? it yes. makes sense, dude. Yes. Oh this my is, God. This is how Warzone seamlessly transitions into Cold War. Y Holy you go shit. under the subway system, you go through a portal to another dimension, and then all of a sudden it's the 80s. You have 50 more health. Your gun is totally different. Your perks change completely. And there's just a whole new world that's like fucking Narnia. That's what and it is. And it's seamless. And, and it's then, seamless, yeah, dude. It's you seamless. See, you see the end of the tunnel and you run you run towards the light you come out and it's a brand new map and it's black ops cold war holy yep. fuck dude we figured it out dude we cracked the code oh my god somebody tweet that out we figured it out <laughs> jesus christ you dumb fuck idiot that's the seamless transition dude you stupid idiot cunts. You, you stupid fucks tanner and i both got some some additional hardware upgrades we both got the industry standard microphone for podcasting the shore sm7b today's episode which is going to be 
our three-part year in review series. Man, this is some whack field of view, dude. Yeah, what's going on with that? Like most of your know. cameras cut off. I don't understand yeah, what's going but, on here. Holy fuck. Am I a console retard? So what happened is your oh, Halloween no. costume as a as a console player, your field of view has been collapsed because it has to be on a console. Know. You have a five degree field of view. You guys might see me here and be wondering what the fuck is going on. I'm a little worried because I'm seeing a Call of Duty Modern Warfare hat, but you hate that game. Oh, oh, it's a trash can. I think I'm understanding it, right? Because okay. Call of Duty Modern Warfare is your least favorite and the worst Call of Duty game ever made because it's a shit trash garbage game. I am dressed as Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2019 Game of the Year edition. I think your costume just switched from a PS4 to a PS5 because your field of view just got restored. I'm seeing some new accessories that I've never seen before. What oh, is that? Oh, well, what else would I be doing? I have my Xbox controller here because I'm ready to rip kids on Warzone and aim assist them after. Know what I'm even more excited for, though, is to legally aimbot kids on Cold War, right? Because they don't give a fuck about PC players. They want the strongest aim assist possible because they're trash. So use code go fuck yourself. There's your G Fuel. <laughs> My webcam is looking crispier. My lighting is looking a little bit better, right? I received a couple gifts from twitch.tv slash Razanon for Christmas. The first item is a key light. So I get a package in the mail. It's a nice little letter here from Razanon. It says, you might think this is a Christmas gift. Hey, it's not. I'm tired of your shit camera quality. More shit incoming. Merry Christmas though from twitch.tv slash Razanon. And then he also got me a Logitech Brio webcam. How do video games support slash not support your mental health. Do you play specific games dependent on your mood? If so, what are they? Are there any games that you must play when you have a bad day? I mean, if I'm having that bad of a day, I'm definitely not going to hop on and play Call of Duty, right? If I get online and play Cold War multiplayer, I'm going to have myself hun an hour later. In game, of course. If your mental health is in the ditches, do not play Call of Duty Modern Warfare or Cold War. I, I mean, there should be a like an epilepsy warning. There need, Afterward, yeah. Afterward, it says warning. There. <laughs> if you're, if you're experiencing mental distress, do not play. Exactly. Player. Dude, yeah, just. That is so oh my God. funny. Could dude. you imagine if you had a bad day and then you you lost to an invisible player in Warzone? Yeah, exactly. You'd end it all. Exactly. Well, that'd be the final straw. You'd end it all. You're like. <laughs> <laughs> Put the gun in your mouth. <laughs> I can't even see him. The YouTube channel, speaking of which, it's the same channel, same link, but I renamed it and it's now called the Drop Shot Podcast. But we also made a bunch of brand social media accounts. Go on TikTok and then search for at the Drop Shot Podcast on TikTok. Follow it. Then go to Instagram at the Drop Shot Podcast. Follow it. Then on Twitter at the Drop Shot Pod. <laughs> follow. And then Facebook at the Drop Shot Podcast follow all of them now i mean they're playing for millions of dollars and there's no anti there's just there's there's literally three guys working from home from activision that aren't actually working from home you know they got pornhub up on one monitor they've got twitter open on the other they're getting doordash delivered four times a day and they're checking for cheaters like 20 minutes out of their eight hour work shift they're on twitch watching titty streamers all day thank you all for listening thank you all for watching have an excellent evening of course and as always, remember, stay home. See you next year. The only Patreon-specific announcement I have, really, I'll say it here first, and then, you know, the, the, the peasants will hear about it later. I will be announcing this on episode 101. I'm like 95% sure that I will be quitting my shit job in January. And the plan, I think, is I'm probably going to put in my two weeks next week because then I would be officially a full-time podcaster, which is unemployed, of course, by the time I make this announcement on episode 101. From the kind messages, the new community we've built, which is huge, by the way, I am enjoying the fact that we have fucking a bunch of, like, cool-ass people who are just homies now. And I'm enjoying the fact that that even exists way more than I would have expected to. The absurd amount of money you guys have 
bequeathed upon us, which is still unbelievable. I can't believe we're recording this episode. It's actually been quicker than I ever thought this would be. I mean, it feels like it's been quick, but then you look back and you're like, oh, it's actually been a year. But it's because like the first few months, the growth was like so little that it doesn't feel like it's been a year. And even a year, dude, is not that long. And again, I mean, the absurd amount of money. Like, look, it's not all about money, but when it comes to me deciding whether or not I'll quit my nine to five job, it's all about money. <laughs> I, I, yeah. at the end of the day you know the fact that again i'm even recording this is is thanks to to you guys especially you guys on patreon but some of you on twitch too have been fucking absurd uh i mean hundreds of gifted subs flat donations thousands of bits it's fucking just crazy. fucking insane it's insane uh, like i have 508 twitch subs right now when Jesus. we started the podcast i had 20 something if that and the the opportunity to fucking go for it, dude, to chase a dream, which is even more embarrassing and yikes than community. Not as bad as self-care, though. This has been a life-changing year for me, and it really means a lot. I've never been happier or more fulfilled in my entire life. And it is so yikes, by the way. And it is 100% thanks to all of you. Merry Christmas, boys and girls. I love you. No, it's crazy as if I didn't have a car payment and if my health insurance was just even slightly less, I'll probably even just the car payment, I would probably just quit now, actually. I basically want to keep working until it's almost to the point where my dumb regular job is like completely in the way of this. And yeah. I don't think it's quite there yet. Like it's annoying at times, especially when I get off at six and I have to be calling into grid fan by 630. Then it's times like that that are frustrating. Let's see how we're doing after I work on trying to grow this program a lot with your help, obviously for the next three months, now that I have all this more time. And yeah. if I'm, if I'm doing okay, then you'd at least see that it's working and it worked for me to quit. So maybe you would be able to too. I think you should just let me run the experiment. And then if I'm begging for money, in a month then you'll know to hey don't quit your day job <laughs> yeah okay yeah man. yeah okay yeah that so, makes sense thank you all again all of you patrons are the the people who made this episode possible and this thought possible uh, i really do fucking love you guys and appreciate it uh more than you more than you know